Hey everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel and another Monday Market Update. I'm Caitlin McKegg. I'm a real estate broker here in Phoenix, Arizona. If this is your first time, welcome. I am here every Monday giving an update on what's going on in the market, so make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate all your support and following me every Monday. So let's dive in because I have an update that sounds like it's a crazy headline, but I'm going to explain why you shouldn't be fooled. So foreclosures, everyone who wants to talk about the housing market going to crash in the future and all the doom and gloom loves to hear when we have an increase in foreclosures. And you know what? We do. We have an increase in foreclosures of 51% since January. So when you see that headline, don't freak out because 51% sounds awful, but we gotta put that into context of what is normal. So let's look over here. I have that currently we have 737 foreclosures. So that is up 51% from January because in January, I think the number was around 40, 488 or something like that. So 737. Um, sounds like, okay, that's a good amount, but let's be honest here, between 2002 and 2021, our average, our long-term average of foreclosures was 10,786. 737, 10,000. Further, if we look at December of 2009, at the peak of the foreclosures, we were sitting at 51,022. So again, 737, 51,000. So when you see headlines that say that foreclosures in Phoenix have increased 51% and we're all going to experience a market crash, just know the numbers because it's really not that crazy. Now it is something to watch because we've seen an increase. I'm not really sure why, I'm not sure what happened, if this is just an off month or if there's a trend forming. So definitely something to watch, but don't be freaked out if you see those headlines, okay? So now let's talk about appreciation because um, that is one of the main topics that we seem to talk about month over month and year over year. The recent Case-Shiller Home Price Index numbers came out and Phoenix topped the list once again with being the number one in percentage increase appreciation. We're sitting at 32.5% out of all of the major cities. We hit the number one spot and that's annual appreciation. If we look at uh, appreciation from December to uh, January, I think it's just short of 2%. So that is in the top grouping of large cities throughout the US, but we didn't hit the number one spot in that. It's just the annual appreciation. So 32%, pretty huge in terms of year over year appreciation. So let's now talk about the CMI that we talk about every week. So the Cromford Market Index is an index that the Cromford Report has come up with that helps us understand supply and demand factors in our market. If you're new here, I follow the Cromford Report. It's a subscription that realtors can have and they analyze all the data in the MLS to help us understand what's going on in the market beyond just supply and demand. But the Cromford Market Index helps us understand supply and demand and then helps us figure out where prices are headed because any number on this index that is above 110 means that we're in a seller's market and prices will continue to increase. Any number below 90 means that we're in a buyer's market and prices will decrease, but we don't even have to worry about that because we are so far into a seller's market right now, a buyer's market is not even on the horizon. So this week we're at 470. You might remember last week we were at 472, so we've gone down a little bit. Our supply is at 24.6, so that's about 75% below a normal range. And our demand is at 115.8, so that's about 15.8 above normal. And so demand went down slightly, but so did supply. So that's not really helping, right? Like if we have demand go down, but our supply increases or stays the same, that's one thing. But if supply and demand are both going down, that's not helping the situation that we're in where there are not enough homes to sell people that want to buy them. 
And last week I talked a little bit about interest rates increasing and how that's going to affect our market. And we might be seeing some of those effects already uh, with showing that demand's going down a couple points, not huge, but it could certainly be affecting our buyer demand and our buyer interest but also supply going down. One thing to remember is just because interest rates go up, it doesn't only affect buyers. It can also affect sellers, right? Because a seller is paying a fixed mortgage amount most likely, and that is hopefully with a mortgage rate that they're happy with, especially if they bought in the last couple of years, especially the last one year. And so, why would they sell their house and go fight the frenzy of the market and also probably get a higher mortgage rate right now when they could just stay put? So in increasing interest rates also affect sellers too because it really discourages them from going out to get a new mortgage. Uh, again, especially if they have a lower mortgage rate. So we'll have to see how interest rates continue to affect the market. If we see lower supply and lower demand, both of those factors coming down, it just means that we're gonna have fewer transactions, fewer people buying and selling homes. So the market will probably cool down a little bit, but for right now, demand is still high, supply is still low, prices are anticipated to continue to increase. So you're going to get a lot of appreciation in anything that you buy now. And if you're selling, you're still in good shape as far as selling it for a good price and at a time when we are very much in a seller's market. So keep that in mind. If you're interested in what your home valuation could be, I have an instant home value calculator. So you can look in the description below, click that link, it'll give you your instant home value. But also if you want something a little bit more specific, you can always shoot me an email, a text, whatever you prefer, or uh, just uh, chat with me. I have a link in the description below that you can use to get in touch and we can talk more about your home value. If you're thinking about buying a house, I do have a link to my MLS, so feel free to use that and see if you can find anything that you love. And if you have any questions about Phoenix Real Estate, you can always reach reach out to me, call, text, or email, or any of the things that I described below. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will be back on Friday with a new video, but of course, next Monday with another market update. I'm Caitlin McKegg with the Desert Dreamers team at HomeSmart.